Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your AP U.S. History teacher, Drew Norman, here to update you on exactly what is going on. So the subject of this video is going to be the changes to the AP test due to the coronavirus closings. So you'll notice, first of all, that the date has changed. It is on May 15th. I believe previously it was maybe May 11th. I don't really remember, quite frankly, but I know it's pushed back a little bit, which is good for you. Uh, it'll be at 1 p.m. that day. Now, um, the key thing is to understand is that it is drastically different than what we've been discussing all year. There will be no multiple choice, there will be no short answer, and there will not be a regular response essay. It will all be based upon a 45-minute time period for you to read and respond to one single question uh, online um, and then upload your response, and that question will be a modified document-based question, a DBQ. So... That is the entire, you'll notice it's 100% of the exam. Um, it's one single question, one single 45 minutes to respond to DBQ essay, uh, and that is it. Um, the question will include, so they have altered it a little bit. Normally you would have uh, six uh, historical sources. They're only going to put five on there. Um, one of them will be a non-text-based source, picture, uh, uh, maybe a, a poster, um, some kind of uh, depiction visually. Um, and then the rubric, uh, which I'll share with you in just a little bit of a remind, uh, remains mostly the same. Um, but So you have less historical sources, which means you will only have to use um, two to four documents to get all of the points. Two documents will get you one point, and four documents will get you two points for that. Um, as far as the points for um, uh, outside sources, you can get up to two for that as well. Um, anyway. Uh, the main idea here is that it is drastically different. It is one single DBQ that you have 45 minutes to complete by yourself um, online. So the good thing for you to understand about this, um, in my mind, is that it will only come from units three through seven. Now, you don't have my course memorized, but basically that goes from 1754, which is the beginning of the French and Indian War, all the way through the end of World War II. In other words, nothing on the exam that they could ask you about will come from stuff that we have not covered. None of it will be new material. It will all be purely stuff uh, that we need to review for. Um, so that's a good thing for you. Um, also, it is actually going to be open note, which means that if you have the information on hand, you should be able to find the outside information pretty easily. So what it comes down to is, are you comfortable writing a document-based question um, are you able to show what they're going to call the historical thinking skills uh, that are required to show that you can use historical information? A lot of the skills we've already talked about this year, including responding to the prompt of the historically defensible thesis, uh, using historical context, supporting your argument, uh, using documents. You know, we haven't used the documents as much as I would have liked to so far this year, but the skills we've developed over writing and developing essays will work very well for this one document-based question. It's just a matter of practicing and getting those documents in. Anyway, all this to say, the test is drastically different, um, but that is not the worst thing. Um, I'm going to make myself available to you over the next several weeks to help you prepare uh, for the AP test, so you'll absolutely have me in contact. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot me a question on Remind or over email. Um, regardless, uh, I hope that those of you who plan on taking the test uh, continue to plan on doing so because now we've got uh, time to prepare for just one single document-based question. Again, if you have any questions or issues, please let me know. I would love to help you. And that's it. Have a great day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay isolated, and whatever you do, don't watch The Vampire Diaries.